Stepping off the train at Waverley Station, I was immediately struck by the grandeur of Edinburgh, Scotland's capital city. Nestled between rugged hills and the silvery Firth of Forth, the city blends ancient history with vibrant modernity. My journey began at the heart of it all the old town, where narrow cobblestone streets twist like a labyrinth, each corner revealing a piece of Scotland's storied past. The Royal Mile, stretching from Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House, buzzes with life, offering everything from bagpipers to cozy pubs serving haggis and whiskey. Edinburgh Castle looms atop Castle Rock, an extinct volcanic crag as if guarding the city below. As I climbed the steep hill to its gates, the views grew ever more breathtaking. Inside, I marveled at the Stone of Destiny and the Honor of Scotland, artifacts that whisper tales of royal intrigue and historic battles. The panoramic view from the castle ramparts is a reward in itself spires, and rooftops punctuate the skyline, with Arthur's Seat and Calton Hill forming a dramatic backdrop. Venturing to Arthur's Seat, the ancient volcano at the city's edge, was like stepping into a different world. The ascent is a peaceful escape, winding through grassy slopes and rocky paths. At the summit, the city unfurled beneath me, a tapestry of medieval alleys and Georgian elegance bordered by the shimmering waters of the North Sea. It's no wonder legends speak of this place as a site of mythical power. Back in the city, I wandered into the new town, a stark contrast to the old town's medieval charm. Its elegant Georgian architecture and orderly streets felt like walking through a living postcard. Prince's Street Gardens offered a lush green respite, nestled between the bustling shops of Prince's Street and the dramatic cliffs of Castle Rock. The Scott Monument, a Gothic spire piercing the sky, beckoned me to climb its narrow steps for yet another stunning view of the city. The cultural heartbeat of Edinburgh is undeniable, especially at the National Museum of Scotland. Within its modern halls, I uncovered treasures ranging from prehistoric artifacts to Dolly the Sheep, the first cloned mammal. The mix of cutting-edge design and historical exhibits mirrors the city's unique ability to harmonize past and present. As evening fell, I found myself on Calton Hill, known for its Athens of the North vibe. The monuments there, including the iconic National Monument, cast long shadows in the golden light of the setting sun. Watching the city lights flicker to life, I felt an undeniable connection to the history and people who had shaped this incredible place. One of Edinburgh's most endearing features is its literary heritage. From Sir Walter Scott to J.K. Rowling, the city has inspired generations of writers. Walking through the Writers' Museum, nestled in Lady Stairs close, I could almost feel the presence of these literary giants. The cozy cafe where Rowling penned Harry Potter beckoned me for a warm cup of tea, completing the literary pilgrimage. Edinburgh is more than just a city, it's a storyteller. From the whispers of its haunted vaults to the melodies of street performers, every street, hill, and building has a tale to tell. As I departed, I realized I hadn't just visited Edinburgh, I had experienced it, 
carrying its magic and beauty in my heart, eager to return someday.